Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Easy Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Don't mind my hands. Started to get um, quite cold inside. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing alright and you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to um, Sheikh Amin did that in the spotlight uh, part 3 of 13. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Intellectually, since I had no companionship, no brothers, no sisters, nobody with me, no family, except my father, he goes to work, leaves me alone, I go to school, I come back. The only time we meet is at the table, eating time, in a hotel, and there's no communication between father and son. What can we talk? So reading, reading became my hobby, my pastime, my obsession. I just can't help. If I see anything written, I must read it's like a sickness it's like a sickness so that sickness of mine i didn't know at that time that allah wanted me to read that the first word of wahi revelation allah gives our nabi karim sallallahu was iqra read now i knew nothing about that but somehow naturally i had that tendency to read and since i read and i read more than all the other my fellow um, companions at school at then i was always superior to them all because I had more vocabulary at my disposal. So, naturally now, in, 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 in talking, in arguing, in debating, I was tops among my friends because of my reading. I didn't know all that, but now, that's a, naturally, it led me to that. So now it car carried on. If there's a debating society, I would join. I want to debate. <laughs> Anything with friends, arguing, debating, arguing, debating. And then until I was thrown into the lion's mouth, so to say, at this Christian mission place. And now the Christian missionary, they are challenging me. And now I get the weapon. Allah Bari Ta'ala supplied me with an armor, how to defend myself. This book I spoke about, Izharul Haq, was written by Sheikh Rahmatullah Hindi, an Arab, to arm the Indian Muslims against the Christian missionaries. When the British conquered India, they realized that at any time anybody will give them trouble, it will be the Muslims. Because power, rule, dominion was wrenched out of their hands. And a people who has one tasted power, you aspire for it once more. The Hindus of the time, the British believed, they were like the docile as the cows that they were worshipping. There was no danger from that quarter. The only danger was the Muslim. So they felt that if they can convert the Muslims, if they can teach the Muslims to turn the other cheek, as Jesus has said, says, resist not evil, he who strikes you on the right cheek, give him the other. Teach the Muslims to turn the other cheek, and you can rule India for a thousand years. So with that philosophy, they started pouring the missionaries into India like frogs in the rainy season. And they started challenging Muslims to public debates. At first, the Muslims were reluctant for two reasons. One was the language. They didn't know English. Second was that these people had just conquered us, and if we spoke too militantly, we might be sent to the Andaman Islands, like Robben Island in South Africa, Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal. We call it Kalapani, black waters. Send them away, ship them there. So they, nobody wanted to go to the, the, the Andaman Islands. So it says, peace, silence is golden. Now the Christian missionaries, they mastered our language. And they started challenging the Muslims to debate in our own language. It's in Urdu. We want to challenge you in your own language. And the debates that took place. This book re records. So now I'm reading that book. And I can see now, I said, look, man, these are the answers to the Christian missionary attack. So what I learned from this book, I started practicing on the Christians. That's my, become my hobby, my pastime. It's my hobby every Sunday morning. Before when they come to do the shopping before Sunday, I said, hey, where are you going on Sunday after church? Said, yeah. To the Christian missionaries. They said, where are you going on Sunday after church? He says, nowhere. I said, where do you live? So it's a country place. He said, give me direction. This way. I said, right, I see you 11 o'clock Sunday morning. So right. So we go along and have a discussion, a dialogue. And actually, my psychology was at that time, for every one point you give me in your favor, I give you 10 against it. That's the only thing that I knew, and I did that well. And out of that, develop all the techniques that have followed. Yes. It seems obvious, Sheikh Ahmed, am I right in this? That you were affected very much by the book Idhar al-Haq. 
may be that this book has influenced the ways and methods you use in Dawah. Let us speak about your methods in Dawah. What are your methods, your ways in Dawah and confrontation? What are the axes that you are keen to abide with in confronting the attacks against Muslims by the missionaries? I think the natural thing was, the natural tendency was, which is natural to, should be to every human being, is to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. It's quite natural. And I acted naturally that if anybody made any claim, that like in judo, you see, I was trying to use the strength of my enemy. Mm -hmm. I used his strength against him. That's judo, the gentle art of self-defense. Mm -hmm. See? I haven't got sufficient strength, so I use the strength of the opponent against him. So same thing in intellectual battle. Same thing happens now. Whatever his force, I must now use his force against him. At that time, and for a long period of time, I didn't know that Allah Ta'ala wanted me to do that also. Like Iqra, he wanted me to read, I was reading, without knowing the ayah. It's natural, it's natural. Same thing Allah tells us, that if anybody makes any claim, mm -hmm. you ask him for his burhan. Allah says, قُلْ hatu burhanakum." Produce your burhan. In kuntum sadiqeen, if you're speaking the truth, let me have a look at your certificate. And that was, to me, also natural. Isla to me, Islam is a natural religion. If you behave naturally, you'll be following Allah's instruction. Only naturally. And I think I was just relaxed, you know, like the magnetic needle of the compass, Whichever way the magnetic attraction came, I, I went. And to me now, the natural behavior was, whatever the man claims, he tells me that sin is inherited. I, didn't, I couldn't quote him the Quran. I didn't know the Quran at the time. <laughs> that no bearer of a burden bears the burden of another. I didn't know all that. The only thing I can ask him is, where? What does it say? They say, Jesus is God. I said, what does it say, your book? Let me see. What is the claim? He said, Christ died for your sins. I said, show me. What does it say? And I found all the answers there. As if I knew the ayah, how to burhan akun. In other words, Allah is telling us that the guy hasn't got the burhan. He hasn't got proof. Ask him for this proof. In other words, telling me he hasn't got proof. So I just behave naturally, and out of that natural behavior, everything now is a natural reaction. Whatever the man claims, I just ask him where. Like the latest is this Christmas thing. You know, I happen to just come into the country on the eve of Christmas. I landed on the 25th, the night of the 25th in Abu Dhabi. And everywhere, this I had been here a little time before. Actually, I was here in UAE. Three times, I have come now, three times in three weeks. The normal coming to this part of the world was once in three years. But this latest sequence of my visits is I visited the UAE three times in three weeks. I have come into the country, gone out of the country. Came in again into the country, gone out again into the country. Come in again into the country and now uh, tomorrow night I'm returning home three times in three weeks. And it was just coincidental on the eve of Christmas, I'm here. And I see Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, lightings and everything in the shops and in the hotel. You know, the music is going on. You know, they keep me awake till one o'clock in the morning, you know. Men and women dancing and singing and all. So, what's going on? So now, I said, now what are you people doing? Just celebrating Christmas. So I'd like to know. I said, now, what is that? I know, I know what, what is Christmas, meaning the birth of Christ, the day of the birth of Christ. But I'm asking, what is this Christmas? I know the birth of Jesus Christ. So I says, when was he born? They would naturally say 25th of December, because more than one billion Christians of the world, they all celebrate the 25th of December as the birth of Jesus Christ. Um, I feel like... I get lost in his stories and would listen to him day in day out and you know they're just some people that are good at telling their stories and you just 
you fall in deep when they tell those stories and this is what's happening when i was listening to this um watching and listening to this video i really have nothing to comment towards this it's just amazing how he's come up although i would like to point out that even if it's a debate or um, a presentation we are taught to be um to know our work once you know that my name is funny no one can tell you that your name is um let's say heather you know no one can tell me my name is he heather i already know my name is funny what i'm trying to say is once you know what your presentation or your debate is about you um you have a certain level of confidence even if you don't have that confidence as long as you know what you should talk about trust me the confidence is going to find you one way or another hence even if when someone tries to debate you or ask you a question you're going to have an answer according to what you understand from um your work so yeah let me know what you guys actually think about what amit did had to say um i really enjoyed this hope you guys enjoyed it as well make sure to give this video a thumbs up but before that uh, please let me know what you want me to react to just give me the name the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video